Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. You know, it's the crack of dawn, nice bright early day for me this morning. I've got an exciting day planned because today folks, I'm out here, I'm looking for carp. And carp fishing is absolutely exciting. If you've never done it, you got the opportunity to catch big fish, strong fish, and it's so much fun. I'll show you my setup here. A simple, simple setup, folks. Uh, and the key to this setup right here, if you've never used them before, is the T-turn swivel. And the T-turn swivel, the beauty of the T-turn, uh, for those of you who do know, it allows you to fish completely tangle free. And I tell you folks, when it comes to carp, that's the key because these carp will make a mess of your line. One carp on your line, and without any protection like this, they will tangle your line, they'll twist your line, and your whole spool will be ruined. So that is definitely the key, and you can see I've dropped down from the T-turn. Uh, I've gone down just a couple inches, a few inches to a sinker, and then I've gone about a foot to a nice circle hook, as you can see here, and I've loaded it up with corn. And what we're doing, we're using corn today, and um, my line, by the way, it's 30 pound test line I'm running, and I'm running 30 pound test fluorocarbon to my hook, but to my sinker, I'm only running 10 pound test. If my sinker line happens to get caught, because there's a lot of debris out here, um, the sinker line will break and I still can uh, land the fish. And the other thing I'm doing, just to get started here, I'm going to chum the area with some corn. So this will bring the carp around and keep them around. So I'm just going to throw some chum out there, as you can see. And not too far, we're going to be fishing fairly close, and I'm going to tell you why we're fishing so close today. And that's because there's a little bit of weed here along the edge of this creek, and the carp are moving along the weed edge, feeding uh, here in the early morning. The early morning bite is best. And I'm going to be fishing just on the outside of those weeds. So as those carp uh, come along and travel, they find the corn, and they hopefully they'll pick up mine and uh, find my corn as well and have some fun. So. I'm going to toss my line out there, we're going to get started, and I'll explain something else that I'm doing. Okay, my line is out there basically uh, to where I chum. And the other thing I'm going to do, rather than keep a tight line and watch my rod tip with the bite, I'm going to keep a loose line. The carp are very leery fish and I don't want them to detect anything. So all I'm going to do is going to keep a little bit of a loose line and I'm going to watch my line. So as opposed to watching my rod tip, all I'm going to do is watch my ride, watch my line. And by doing so, it also really you can detect even the slightest of hits because you'll see your line just kind of move out a bit. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. So stay tuned folks, we're sure to have ourselves a great show. Oh, there we go folks, there we go. <laughs> my line wasn't in there but two minutes. Unbelievable. It, Oh, it feels like a decent fish. This is unbelievable. All I did was saw my line just kind of start to go twitch, twitch, and on the third twitch, oh, there he goes. On the third twitch, he just took it. And that circle hook looks like the circle hook. Oh, circle hook has done its job. Wow, he's peeling drag. I gotta be careful because there's a bridge right beside me. All we did was park on the side of the road. Oh, there. There he is there. Oh. And you can't muscle these fish because they'll break your line like nothing. Even though I'm running 30 pound braid. And then of course, as I mentioned, off the T-turn, I got the 30 pound fluorocarbon. Wow. This guy, you have no idea how strong this carp is. Whoa, he does not want to come in. And like I say, I can't, oh, I can't muscle him. Oh. This is unbelievable. You know, this carp fishing right from shore, no boat, simple setup. Boy, oh boy, you gotta love this. I love the bass fish, but to get a fight like this. Okay. Mr. Carp, there we go. Oops. My little bass net here. I use my little bass net, as you know, for everything. And there's a nice carp right there. It's a nice start to my day. Yeah. Got a little bit of grass on him right now. But that's about a six pound carp right there. And a very, very nice carp. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna release him now. They get a lot bigger than this, folks, but I'll tell you, that's a great start to my day. 
right there. That was exciting. What I'm going to do now, because these carp are feeding actively this morning, as I said, I'm going to take some more corn, I'm going to chum the area, load up my, my uh, hook again, and get back out there. Oh, this guy, <laughs> this guy just picked it up, folks. And he just started peeling. He's right along the shoreline. I think he's about the same size as the other one. And I gotta mention your drag when I'm oh when you're fishing for these carp, I got my drag set really loose. Oh only for the very beginning because they'll pick up your rod, they'll pick up your line, and they'll run, and they'll make a major run. And the other thing you want to do is you want to stay close to your rod because if you're not, they'll grab your line, they'll take your rod, and they'll just run with it. Oh! It's another, another, that's oh, a smaller carp. Now, these are, these are smaller this morning right now, but I'll tell you, they get really big and they get up to about the, you know, you can get them up to the 20, 30, 40 pound class. But look at all the fun I had with just this small carp. So again, it's very exciting. You don't know what you're gonna get and what size. Circle hook did its job. It's just inside the mouth here. Okay, so. Ah, circle hook also caught my finger. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this guy back in. I'm gonna chum again, load up my uh, hook again with corn, keep my line, my drag really loose, and get back at it. Oh, oh, he, he's, you know what folks, I just saw him on top of the water, it's not a big fish, but is he ever strong? You know what, getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning for this, I'll do that any time of the week. Not only is it exciting, but it's also a relaxing way to fish, but boy is it very exciting. Okay. Oh, you saw the net. Okay, you know what? He just realized he was hooked, I think. I don't know. Now he's full of energy. Okay, well, the T-turn did its job again. That swivel is absolutely amazing, as you can see. And Mr. Carp, it's another clone. Yeah, it's about a seven, I'm gonna say seven pounds. So we're gonna get him back in. Another morning shower for me, but that's okay, that was a riot. I'm gonna get back hooked up and back in the water we go. <laughs> that's a good bite right there, folks. That was a great bite. And he feels like he's got a little bit of weight to him. You know, I gotta tell you, this carp fishing is readily available to everybody. Oh, as you don't need a boat, you catch carp right from shore. And they're very common right here in North America. Oh, these peel and drag, they're very common here in North America. They're found in most rivers, creeks, and lakes. Uh oh, and he's going to that bridge. I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Can you imagine getting a 30, 40 pounder? You'd have the battle of a lifetime. You know what, he's not even that big. He's about seven pounds. There he is, maybe not even, maybe a six pounder. Okay, I'll get my little bass net here. I love my little bass net. It's the rubber net, which is great for the fish. Oh, the rubber net protects the fish and it also makes it easy if you're fishing with lures or hooks to not get caught, not get your hook or lure caught on the, on the net. There's a nice carp right there. He's nice and thick. Actually, he's about five pounds. But oh, he fought like a 10, 20 pounder. Couldn't believe it. What a riot. Okay, let's get him back in. Off they go like a bullet. Well, folks, that one just picked up my line and didn't give any hesitation and just bolted for the shoreline here. 
right along the weeds. They like to bury themselves in the weeds, but I got them out. I got them back out in the open. But boy, did he ever run. Oh, I gotta tell you, fishing for carp in Europe, it's a very popular sport. And here in North America, it is really picking up and catching on big time. And I can see why, because this is an absolute riot. Oh, they're strong fish. And that's why you've got to have your drag set lightly in the very beginning. Because once they, once they pick up your bait, they just bolt and they take right off. And I think I've got him tuckered out. Oh, maybe not quite. Whoa, he's still got some energy left, left in him. And you got to be careful here when you get them close that they don't break your line and snap you off. Oh, he doesn't like the net. <laughs> Let's try it again. He still doesn't like the net. This is going to be interesting. Oh. Okay, I got him in there now. There we go. That's a little bit bigger than the last few. This one is... Uh, He's a good 10 pounds. Nice little hook set, right? Oh, look at that, it just came out just like that. There we go. Look at him, he wants to swim away there right on land. Nice sized carp. And again, they get a lot bigger than this. Oh, but I'll tell you, there's a good solid 10 pounder right there. And that was just an absolute riot, but you can get them 20, 30, 40 pounds, and when you get those real huge ones, folks, you got a real battle on your hands. Let's get this guy back in. Okay, and away he goes. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm just having a riot out here. This is so much fun. If you get an opportunity, get out there, do some carp fishing. If you haven't tried it yet, it's just uh, so much fun to do. And if you haven't also, please uh, subscribe to our channel, pushing the button found right up here as we welcome all our new subscribers and we'd love to share more fishing tips and advice with you. So thanks so much for tuning in today, folks, to today's episode. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.